Hi guys, this is Kieran here at EurovisionIreland.net and I'm speaking with Mr. Keith Mills, who is Mr. Eurovision. Actually, you're from all kinds of everything.ie, so a lot of the fans would be really familiar with your website. Yes. And this year, it's actually being transferred over to www.eurovisionireland.net. Thank you very much for that. No problem at You're very welcome to Montrose tonight. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. Eurosong final. How do you feel about being here tonight? It's fantastic. It's fantastic. And I'm, I love um, coming here and I don't have to be neutral because I'm not reporting on it or anything like that. So it's great. I can do what I want to do and say what I want to say. Great. And um, I'm loving it. And for the first time since oh, a long, long time, we're coming to an Irish final without knowing who's actually going to win it, which is great. It but gives that extra bit of on that extra bit of yeah, yeah. Nobody. I mean, I've just been out there in the foyer talking to people, and people are calling out three or four of the songs yeah. as potential winners. It's going to be a really, really exciting finish. Tell me, Keith, in terms of Eurovision generally, what or where do you see Eurovision going? Ooh, good question. Changes, yes, there has. Yes, there has. Yes, there has. Yeah. I mean, I, I think what's happened musically is okay. Mm -hmm. um, and I, 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 I know there are people that want to go back to national languages, there are people that want to go back to the orchestra. Personally, I don't think they're going to happen, as desirable as, as they may be, I just don't think that they're actually viable options. Um, one thing I would like to, to see happening, because I think it's really essential, is the voting. The voting has, which used to be, I mean, going back to the days, the voting used to be the highlight of the whole um, show, which is fantastic. The last few years, that's gone really downhill, so I think something needs to be done. But otherwise, musically, I wouldn't change very much. And tell me, in terms of being here in Ireland, Dublin tonight, who are you putting your money on, Keith, in terms of oh. bringing us back in the Eurovision trophy? Oh, I, 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 I'm not a person who sits on the fence. I mean, if you watch my blog and all the rest of them, know that I'm not a person who sits on the fence. And I'm whether I'm right or wrong. This time, I cannot make a call. I think there are three songs in with a chance. I think. Um, I'm cheering for Zoe because it's good. Great work um, in terms of promotion. Um, got a young audience behind her. Good, prep, uh, good modern pop song. So that's a contender. Ryan, very Swedish sounding, tuss, tends to do well at Eurovision. That again has a, has, a, has a following. I think that could do very, very well. And then the one that little, a little, little hunch that I have, and that's Amy's song, The Ballad Crashing Down. I think that could do very, very well. I suppose over the last number of years there's been question marks about ballads in Eurovision. We know that back in, was it 2009 when Iceland entered with the performer called Johanna? Yeah. She came second at the time. Yeah. And that was a really, I suppose, a big deal because it was that big power ballad and it reminded all of us that that could still do really well. And then the following year, Reservoir Shang won mm -hmm. was a ballad. So, I mean, the ballads are knocked down. The, the, the problem is that on certain years, you know, in 2010 was very good, there were saturation of ballads. So, all of them badly because there were just too many of them. But if you have a good quality ballot and there are only two or three others in there, you've got every chance, even even of winning. Great stuff. Well, listen, Keith, it's great to talk to you tonight. Mm -hmm. Enjoy the show. I and pleasure. Uh, don't forget to stay logged on to www.eurovisionireland.net for all the latest gossip. See you.